Well, if you're a Minecraft user, you're used to seeing Minecraft launch like this with a Java window. And the good news is that Microsoft bought Minecraft uh, a while ago. They've been working on converting it to run under native windows. And that's good news because Java is inherently a very unsecure platform. and got a lot of security holes in it. So it'll be a lot more secure to have uh, it run under Windows and not under uh, the Java. So let's take a look at it here under Windows 10. Well, if you're a Minecraft person, you probably already know about this, but there's a Minecraft beta. Now, I've already installed it, but uh, you'll see it here on my start menu. But let's go out to the website and uh, I can show you how to get to the store uh, to go ahead and get it. So we'll go out to the store, and when it comes up, we'll simply search for Minecraft. Now, it'll probably be prominently displayed here, like you see here, because, uh, of course, they're trying to make sure everybody's aware of it. So if we go look at the store, and we'll see, you'll see the install button. Now, if you've never installed it before, you'll get a green one. Uh, I've already got it installed on my one desktop. I'm installing it on a tablet here, so it says I already own it. And you can go out to their website and find the instructions on how to get you, if you're a current Minecraft owner, how to get that credited so you don't have to pay for it uh, through the beta program. So if you look here at uh, a screenshot at the store, it says free beta access for existing Java PC Mac owners. I imagine that's going to become free regular if you already purchased it. You'll still have that credit towards when it becomes final. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Uh, and you'll see the initial interface for uh, Minecraft. Now, you'll see that I made it uh, semi-full screen. It's in a window, but it's expanded to full screen. If I switch to tablet mode, this will be true full screen. But for right now, you'll see here that you have the same kind of controls for the configuration that you're used to seeing in Minecraft. Now, just like a lot of applications, what's good about this is that as they get more and more stuff uh, in the beta, it'll automatically update your installation on your PC. But going back here, uh, let's go back to the, the game. And let's go ahead and uh, take a look at starting a game in, in this version. Now we can create a new world. Now this is not a tutorial on how to use Minecraft. Most of you out there that are looking at this already know how to. And there's plenty of videos, hundreds and thousands of videos out there on how to play Minecraft. So here we are. Uh, we're, we can either be in creative mode or survivor mode. And the creative mode allows you to quickly build stuff versus survival, which is a normal uh, interface. Uh, so we're going to go ahead in, in here, and you'll see that we're in the normal interface. And we're going to move around a little bit here and look around. Uh, let me get out of the water uh, here. And there we are. So, as you can see, it runs really great. It's nice and smooth, no uh, tearing. Some people have reported stuff, but again, this is a beta. So, uh, take a look at uh, how it runs on your system. Uh, but it's well worth uh, going out there and pursuing getting used to it so you're ready for when the full version is launched. So yeah, as you can see, we just we can do the normal stuff you would do, you'd expect to do. Um, look around, uh, do different things. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time here. I really want to show you is how this runs, uh, not only here, but on a tablet. I have a Toshiba Mini Encore 7, a little one megabyte uh, tablet. And uh, here's, we're going to take a look at how the beta runs on it. Now remember, this is a little 7-inch Toshiba with only one gigabyte of memory uh, that we're going to test it on. Uh, we finally got Windows 10 to install on this thing. And here's Minecraft. And as you can see, it runs pretty darn good on it. So we'll let it load up here. And then you will be able to take a look at uh, exactly how it runs. So uh, after it loads up, you see the same interface, the same kind of things. Now, not all the interfaces are done yet in the latest version of the beta, but a lot of it uh, is. But you see it very similar. Again, I was running this before on the desktop. I'm running it on a laptop or a tablet. It runs perfectly fine. Uh, no real differences. We can change the modes. Uh, go ahead and we'll create a uh, world here so we can move around. Now, the truth be told, as you can see, the drawing distance stuff is coming in a little slower on the tablet. But once it's loaded, you can see here that movement around, fully functional to do, runs really great. And uh, let's go back and uh, change some settings here. 
and go back here and go back in again and generate the world again. Now we're in construction mode where we can go out there and fly around and make, you see all the tools down there below that you can use to build, quickly build items. So again, here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, after flying around here a little bit, we're going to go take a look at it in regular uh, mode. Now you can use the controls on the left to move around. Uh, you can see the drawing over there as we move on the right. But the left and right and all that is uh, the, the controls on your left. Very nice touch interface for the people that are using it uh, with a touch screen, like in this tablet. Now, as you can see in this screen here, some of the uh, methods and you know, some of the screens to build uh, items and all that are a little flaky. At the, you gotta sit there and learn how to drag it up. You know, like in a regular uh, right click is a press and hold on a tablet. Uh, so eventually, you'll get all those will come to fruition and they'll be all great. But right now, it's a uh, it's a little tough to use in that respect, but it's good for you, again, to get used to seeing this and used to working with it uh, if you're going to play it on a tablet in the future. What's important to note, though, is that once you're done, once this beta is over with and they launch the final one, you want to go in into the control panel and delete Java. So let's go to the control panel right here, and we'll say uninstall program. We'll find Java, and we're going to go ahead and say uninstall. And that gets rid of that security uh, problem. Now, you may have other programs that use Java, so be a little careful. But they'll usually prompt you for it, and you can reinstall it if necessary. But in a short while here, you should not need it for Minecraft. So there you are, uh, Minecraft for Windows 10 and Minecraft Beta. Go out there, get used to it, and have fun. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.